here, and I am so excited to give you a first look at Fa La 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 La. This is Derek Taylor and Company's new holiday pop-up experience. Follow me. Hi, Candace. Nice Welcome to see to you. Mwah, mwah. Mwah. Well, I have to tell you, I knew exactly where you were located because all of the festivities <laughs> start right outside the door. So listen, I know that you are an event planner yes. and a wedding planner. Yes. What prompted you to do this holiday pop-up? Well, I'll tell you, with COVID shutting events down, we all needed to pivot to do something fun. And I really wanted to make sure that the children in this neighborhood had something fun to do. Because I was so afraid that kids were going to have a Christmas without any festivities. Yeah, well, you're going to provide them with plenty. And then some. <laughs> and then some. So now, when does this all start? Tell me, it's December 1st. So December 1st, we're going to open to the public. Yes. So now, this is a family company. This is generational. Your grandparents Great started? Grandparents. Great grandparents. Great grandparents. Yes. All right, well, come with me because I know that you've got photos of your grandparents. Sure. Sure. And tell me a little bit about the history of Taylor and Company. On, on the left is my uh, my great grandmother yep. who taught me everything I know about flowers. Aww. And then her daughter, mm -hmm. my grandma Taylor, mm -hmm. she taught me everything I know about gardening and everything. Oh, and goodness. then my grandma Schmidt, now my two grandmothers grew up together. Oh. And she taught me how to sew wedding dresses and then her great aunt taught me how to bake wedding cakes. So tell me about these little sparkly things. Okay, so this is a company out of Quincy, Illinois, yeah. called Melrose, mm -hmm. and they have all of these adorable little snow globes. Well, you know, if I was a kid and I was coming in here for the first time, I would just lose my mind. There's so much to see. I mean, let's walk over here. Look at your toy soldier. But now the piece de resistance is this, I think, this tree is So just... this is the tree that normally would adorn the lobby of the Knickerbocker Hotel. Really? And yes. So, uh, so this year we are um, we are going to have her here. And then, of course, you have the Santa well, yes. seat. Let's take a look so at the I Santa this, seat. I this chair every year. Yeah. And this year it's bigger and better. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sit in this chair. So, and while you come over here and sit, and then tell me about this. Tell me about this chair. Well, uh, the back of this chair was actually in a TV series called Sense Eight. Oh. And we took it apart and reimagined it for Santa Claus this year. Oh my God. And now you told me you're going to have a special Santa Claus here. We do. We have the Macy Santa Claus coming here. Yeah. He's going to be here on the 6th and on the 13th. 6th and 13th. Yes. So you can get the times and the sign up on my website at www.taylorandcoevents.com. Awesome. And what are the times? When can people come when it opens? So starting at 10. Starting at 10. Starting Until like midnight? Not till midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Pro uh, probably until like three or four o'clock in the three afternoon. Three or four o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Well, I'll be here, that's for sure. Yeah. And and also, you're going to be doing wreath making. Yes. You're going to have cocktails. Yes, we're going to do a And what other things class. are you going to offer? I mean, you have so much going on here. Well, we partnered up with uh, Jordan's Food of Distinction. They're doing some beautiful gift sets that we'll show you here in a little bit. They've also have, they also have a company called Spritzology that are doing these pre-bottled uh, cocktails that are just amazing. Oh my God, awesome. Okay, well, I'm in for the wreath making. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so Derek, we're in the process of making a wreath. Yes. Which I've never done before. I didn't even know there was a wreath making machine. Well, listen, you're in good hands. I know I am. But the speed with which you cut this uh, this uh, pine was astounding. I mean, I know you've done this well, a lot. I was a samurai warrior in another life. <laughs> And also, you said your grandmother was a florist, and so did you learn those skills from her? Yes, I did. Oh, my gosh. She was awesome. Yeah, I can see. All right, so tell me what to do. I'm going to do the first one. You have yeah. to do the rest of them. Well, we'll see about All that, right. won't we? <laughs> so what you do is you're going to line this up right here. Yeah. There's a track right here. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Yeah. And so we're going to go in this direction. Now, do you want your wreath to be silver or green? Because if it's silver, silver, we turn it over and you see the silver side. Uh, whichever you think looks best. Well, it's for your house. No, no, you, I like green then. Okay, Do it green. green. Right. Yeah. So we're going to I'm a this. traditionalist. All right. Okay. And we just lay the boughs in here. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay, and let's put a little bit of cedar in there too. So we've got cedar, noble fir, and uh, silver fir. Oh my God, I love it. So you put it in there and we just step right here. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. And it just staples it together. No way. No way. And you charge people for that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm going to put this in here, and I want you to step on it this time. Okay. I know you got heels on, so yeah. just put your time. No, I have tiny and little heels. Just don't, just don't staple my finger in there. No, we'll get your hands away then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Are they away? Because it looks yeah. like they're kind of close. I'm lined up. Okay. Here I go, making my own wreath. 
Now, can anybody buy one of these machines? No. <laughs> only people like you. It's only trade. <laughs> so we just line this up. Yeah. Don't you have one ready made you can just give me? I do. <laughs> You are going to make this. No, I'm going to make it. I want to make gonna, one. Listen, Give me, I want to make one. And you're going to be so proud when you do. I'm already proud. Look at me go. I can, you're the most glamorous wreath maker I, I have ever seen. I think I need a little cedar, please. Cedar? Okay, here we go. Cedar? Yeah, see. See, now I know what I'm doing. See, you're a pro. <laughs> now I'm going to get bossy. So, Derek, um, you know, for Christmas, I mean, I know you're an expert at decorating. Obviously, look at this place. Mm -hmm. What kind of tips can you give us for, like, decorating for the holidays? Um, don't get caught in commercial tr fads. Christmas is, Christmas is really about a feeling. And, you know, using old uh, ornaments that have sentiment to them, I think that means so much more than going out and buying you know, the, the most expensive stuff that you can find. Mm -hmm. Not really about that. Mm -hmm. um, so. Well, that's what I do. You know, every time we take a trip, I'll buy something. Even if it's off season, I'll go to whatever tourist shop they have and buy whatever has the name of the city that we're in. And then, you sure. know, when you have the tree up, it's like you take a trip all over again to all the places you've been in the past. And that's, I love that. That's a great you know, tip. All right, here's a question. How do you feel? Real or fake trees? I have both. Oh, I like that. Look, look at yeah. Look at And there you made a Christmas wreath. A Christmas wreath. That is beautiful, Derek. I love it. I love you. I love this whole place. I love the feel when you walk in. The kids are going to love it. I mean, this is I spectacular. Hope so. I hope so. I and think it's going to be a fun place for a lot of people. Who are you? German for love. <laughs> so, Derek, um, this has been awesome. I mean, every little square inch is decorated to, to death, practically. Yes. And you also have more gift sets here that we didn't talk about. What is this? This is adorable. So what this is, is this is a snowman set. So um, we have our nose oh, no. on a skewer that it just sticks right in. We have all the, the eyes and the mouth. Oh, goodness. Here, here are the eyeballs. Yeah. We have a scarf. Oh my, we're a snowman kid. And last but not least, we have this hat. Oh, that's fabulous. And it says, just add snow. Just add snow. What a great gift idea this yes. is. This is adorable. And you know, where, where we're sitting right now is a, a little vignette that we're doing. Uh, we have um, Andre LaCour and Rick Aguilar. I doing love both of those photographers. Family portraits here. Um, Andre LaCour is going to be doing the photos with Santa. Perfect, I love it. Derek, you are a pure joy, and I love having you for a friend, especially somebody that's so talented like this. Oh, I love having you, too. Thank you. Well, this is Candid Candace. I hope you subscribe to Candid Candace TV so I can take you on more fun trips like this one. <laughs>